everyone and welcome back to LCS Inside Out. What's up? This week we have a very special show dedicated to the work of the NYP5s. On Wednesday, they put together a fantastic personal project exhibition in the Zone TV. The personal project is the last stage of the five years of the IB Middle Years program. It enables students to develop their personal interests and to show and apply the skills which they've developed through the NYP's Approaches to Learning, or ATLs. Oh, that's what that means. Get it right. Anyways, the personal project is a year-long process, which begins at the end of MYP4 and ends in MYP5. There are three main pieces to the personal project. Do you know what they are, Will? Well, I do. Because Mr. Jones has supplied us with a piece of paper with everything we need to say. So, I will now read. Will, you're no longer on the show. We don't like you. Please leave. Love, Mr. Jones. Aww, he put love. I'm just kidding. I'm the one who wrote that. Is it because I licked you? Well, anyways. Those are not the three pieces to the personal project. They actually are a process journal, a product, and a report. I knew that. Sure you did. I did. So uh, the personal project may take many forms. For example, it could be an original work of art, music, or drama. A written work on an area of interest. A piece of creative writing. An original science experiment. An invention. A presentation of a business plan. The finished product must allow students to investigate topics closely connected to at least one global context of the MYP. The personal project exhibition is an opportunity for students to present their work and to celebrate their achievements. Just as we did this week in the Zone de Vie. So I assembled the Necroid XL 2.0 for my personal project. It's four feet tall robot, can walk, talk, whatever. Hey Robbie, give me five. We took a challenge as I wanted to do engineering, and even more of a challenge as I said, it took a team of four MIT engineers seven and a half hours to build. It took me 40, so I thought that was a fairly good goal. Um, I've never done any Makana before, so I thought it would be a lot of fun to take on, and it'd be a really good time in instructing it. So during six weeks I did the whole food diet so it consisted of me eating a certain way during that period of time so it mainly consisted of a plant-based diet there were certain other things that I could eat and I used certain recipes during those six weeks and I made then a website based on those recipes and the recipes contain the nutritious values and they also follow the guidelines. Well, I wanted to make a submarine that could catch jellyfish. Um, so uh, this is what it would look like, uh, but it would have a net in the middle like this uh, to catch them. For my product, I did um, an aesthetic model and an explanatory model, which uh, uh, basically the submarine will work like this, uh, like a kayak. Um, so I had to um, make a model from foam and then vacuum form it for like the aesthetic model. Um, I made my own music album. Uh, I started off at the piano, on the piano, I don't know. And then I went onto GarageBand and put my lyrics and um, drums under it. 
it was quite difficult to record my own voice because I didn't have the right equipment so I had to use my Apple earphones and that was not not great um, I used one of my songs for the LCS talent show which I won which was nice Um, so I chose to research my ancestry because the, I always found photos like these in the, the loft at home in England and I wanted to know who the people in the photos were. So working with my grandfather we found information like this to link with the photos in order for me to understand who the people were. So my idea was to create a website for young riders who are looking to try and improve their riding skills in all the different aspects of road cycling. So that varies from like the nutrition, the, like the materials they use, the, the kit they use, the helmet, everything about it. So the website was to try and give people a way of progressing it in their cycling. Like there was uh, like formal, there was proper, but also was made by person. Um, so for my personal project I chose to do colour psychology and interior design so my product was a website talking about how colour influences the subconscious and how um, using colour in a special way can make your life more productive. Um, what I found most interesting was how different colours can have such a huge effect on um, the way people think and react to things. So I made paintings of the lake on different times of the day to like create, like show it with different colors, different day times, with the same picture. Who is this man? I still have no clue what my purpose or path, but something keeps telling me that I should rap. Because I made my own choreography uh, for dance and I use different styles um, as modern and hip hop and afro and then I use different songs for the styles and yeah then I made my own dance. <laughs> So for my personal project I decided to focus on cultures around the world. I thought this was an issue because after my travels to Tanzania with the school I noticed that tourists and people who travel to different countries don't respect cultural norms and expectations. So to create a solution to that I decided to create a website. The idea started off with being an app but I decided to shift it to create a website that promoted the ideals and what you have to follow and respect when you go to a different country. My personal project is a painting in which I compare how the world should naturally look to what it has become. For example, uh, sea pollu pollution, in which the sea is now nearly full of plastic, more, more plastic than animals in the sea. So. Um, I decided to make a sale for my personal project um, as it's one of my greatest passions or hobbies. Um, I've been sailing from a very young age and I wanted to make a, uh, a sale as I can use it in the future and it would be something uh, great to look back on when I'm older. Um, there were many challenges when making a sale. Um, some of them could, well some of them were that um, uh, I thought it could be done on a home sewing machine, but actually it had to be made on a proper sewing machine. So um, as you can see, there are 
different stitches um, and yeah it was just uh, difficult to try and uh, arrange all these different points to go and sew them. Um, so for my project I decided to do photography. I went to like a photography course in Italy where I learned about all the different photographical techniques and then I decided to use my photographical skills to depict my hometown and submit my photos to the tourist desk to advertise. So I, my project was a new book about nutrition for children. I started from uh, pregnancy all the way up to teenage years. I found out recipes, I made recipes with the needs of uh, the different age groups. I also had an interview in uh, Hollis Street, the hospital where I was born, with a uh, nutritionist uh, about nutrition for pregnancy. Uh, for my personal project, I decided to make a um, competitive swim how-to guide on sort of tips and tricks on how to enhance your swimming competitively. In my book, I have sort of nutrition tips as well as equipment tips, and also sort of different ways to train and how to train specifically for you. I also have interviews with ex-Olympian Adrian uh, Perez. So for my personal project, I made an Instagram account. So it was named Plane Spotting and then GVA. So it was about taking pictures of the planes, but it was more about the cameras, so the technology used. So I was learning about focal lengths and stuff like that and how to get the perfect picture. So how to get what people want to see. Because like anyone can take a picture of a plane, but it's the editing and the taking the photo and getting the perfect shot. So if it's with like a sunset or a sunrise or two planes in one, and it was about writing the right captions and putting the right things with the picture to make people want to see my content. Okay, so for my personal project, I decided to create my own song. And I did this using GarageBand, which is an app on most Macs. And um, using GarageBand and my MIDI keyboard, I created lots of new sounds and I combined them all together to create my own song. So my song is called Not Anymore and I performed the song at the Music Cafe in December. So that's the end of this week's show. It is. And you know, the MWP5s have outdone themselves. Like I don't, I don't even. No, it's me. Level. I'm talking. I don't even have the words to describe how amazing it was. I do. I word good. Good. Well, anyways, you know, I wonder, Will, what's on next week's show? Well, on next week's show, we have footage from the secondary art exhibition and the Fringe Festival. We also have the MIP1s going on a trip, the squad, to the Alimentarium, the Food Museum. And coming out of it, I feel enlightened and the photographs that I took, I feel like they were so artistic and I feel like I've just grown. Aha, uh -huh, I got it. I'm just... <laughs> okay. That's better. Mm -hmm. We're going on a trip in our favorite rock. That's what you reminded me of, just like, and what people are going on a trip. Okay, We're bye. Trip. Bye. Goodbye. We're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. Soaring through the sky, little lives time. We're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. Zooming through the sky, little lives time. Well, anyways, you know, I wonder, what's on next week's show, Will? I thought you said, what's on Netflix? <laughs> <laughs>
Well, there's Stranger Things, and there's um, 13 Reasons Why. There's Riverdale. There's also like some other movies that there's just too much stuff on there. NYP4 and ends in NYP5. There are three main. <laughs> he just yawned in the middle. <laughs> you bored, bro? He's just like. <laughs> I mean, she's. <laughs> Sorry, Maya. <laughs> I'm not a he. Oh, what? I know oh, that. Sex and. Well, on Netflix show. <laughs> Netflix show. Netflix. 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 Netflix